Hello people, in this video we are looking at Chandler's index. So where is this coming under? In uh, hookworm infestation, ankylo ankylostomiasis, that is uh, hookworm infestation, right? Um, in that the Chandler index will be an indicator, the indicator of the amount of infestation. So Chandler's index is nothing but the number of average number of average number of hookworm eggs per gram of stool. Okay. So look at this average number of eggs per gram of stool, right? That's what they are saying. If it is less than 200 eggs, then it's not much importance, it seems. But if it is more than that, then it is in, uh, important. So danger, problem, health problem, major problem. So first danger, minor problem, major problem. Okay. So uh, if it is less than uh, 200, no issue, guys. Okay, guys, so less than 200, not at all important. Then everything is important. In that you have danger, minor problem, major problem, right? So what are the values here? 200, 250, 250, 300, greater than 300, okay? So let's read a little more about this. So basically, the infestation caused by this parasite hookworm, ankylostoma duodenal, or Nicator americanus, it is common amongst adults and children. How is it transmitted? Percutaneously, it is coming by a skin, especially uh, the soil which is, has been contaminated with the fecus, right? That's why stool examination only they are doing. So, this, what will happen? These people will have anemia because they will, uh, these uh, worms will be drinking all the blood, isn't it? So, look at this. The worm is entering percutaneously via the skin. It's going uh, via the bloodstream. Then he is swallowing it, right? It will reach his pharynx and he will swallow it. And then it will settle in the small intestine. In his small intestine, guys, <clears throat> in his small intestine, this is intestine, the worms are, uh, adult worms are coming and they are mating and they are again releasing eggs. These eggs are coming in this man's stools, okay? So, in the feces, in the soil, this is developing. The egg, right? Development of egg. You can see, you have this egg which contains a rhabdiform larva now. The rhabdiform larva will hatch hatch out and now the filary form larva is entering. So you understand easily they are checking the stools and they can find out the infestation level. Ankylostoma duodenal is more, uh, it is there in, in North India a lot, especially Assam and around that you can remember. Okay. So Chandler's index is what we want you to look at. What is Chandler's index? It's the average number of hookworms, hookworm eggs, not the hookworms, hookworm eggs per gram of stool. Per gram of what? Stools. Okay. That's the feces. Less than 200, not much importance. 200 to 250, it's a potential danger. And if it is 250 to 300, minor public health problem. Greater than 300 is major public health problem. Greater than 300 is major public health problem. Okay. So, it not only helps us to assess the severity of the health problem, it also helps us to evaluate the control measures. As simple as that, you will know the severity of the problem. So, you will be able to decide which control measure to give these people. What is the treatment, guys? Albendazole, mebendazole, same thing, right? Then, so you will give mass treatment also. Let's go back to our, our um, microbiology, parasitology videos where we have looked at hookworm. So, this is ankylostomia duodenal and this is Nicator americanus. So, basically, this is, um, it has adult worm is there, egg is there and larva is there. This is the morphology of the egg. It is not bile stained. It floats in salt solution. You have L1, L2, L3, L4. L3 is the filary form larva which is infective to man looks like. So, the morphology they have shown here. So, it should have hooks, right? That's why it's called as hookworm. Where, is, where are the hooks? Guys, uh, it, they are saying host is only man actually. And it will enter via the skin. Intestinal phase will be there. Migratory phase will be there and intestinal phase will be there. It will develop in soil though. But uh, host, man is the only host. See, man is the definitive host. There is no other host such that. In soil, it will develop. That's it. Okay. Just let's look off at all the other points. Helminths requiring no. This is a helminth. Okay. So, there is something here called as cutaneous larva migrants, right? Wherever it enters, you will have on the skin like this. Wherever the worm is going, you will have that path, right? So, you will have ground itch, cutaneous larva migrants, respiratory manifestations because it's migrating, isn't it? Then you will have the adult worm sitting in your intestine and uh, multiplying. So, those symptoms you will have. What in symptoms you will have? 
basically these worms will sit and suck all the blood so you will have microcytic hypochromic anemia you can have uh, uh, stools which are reddish black in color etc and lot of other things epigastric pain dyspepsia vomiting diarrhea everything you will have okay these people will have dimorphic anemia guys that means it is uh, having both features microcytic hypochromic it can be or dimorphic anemia both types of anemia you will have microcytic and what see iron deficiency will cause microcytic anemia right so you will have small small rbcs but you can have macrocytic also you will have uh, large rbcs also because of nutritional deficiency right nutritional deficiency will be like what uh, uh, megaloblastic you will have a vitamin b12 deficiency or uh, what is the other one folic acid deficiency so you'll have uh, dimorphic anemia these people will have dimorphic anemia okay lab diagnosis either you can uh, see the eggs in the feces or you can actually see the worms also it seems and look at this you have some harada mori method of uh, stool culture this is that harada mori method of stool culture petri dish so many ways of doing stool culture okay anyways you will see non bile stained oval segmental eggs okay what types of eggs you should find even for chandlers index what types of eggs you should look non bile stained right wait you should look for non bile stained give me the color non bile stained gray color yeah non bile stained oval eggs right those will be your uh, ankylostoma duodenin you can also find the worms if you want but anyways we are here counting what counting the eggs okay we were here let's just finish one more slide is there i think lab diagnosis they are telling how to do then how will you treat that also is important right albendazole mebendazole pyrantel palmoate should be a comma here right pyrantel palmoate and you should give iron to these people obviously because they'll have deficiency of iron isn't it guys so albendazole 400 mg once okay what else is saying mebendazole al pyrantel palmoate mebendazole all these are alternatives you will give iron for these people you will give uh, nutritional support let's take a recap guys in this video we wanted to look at chandler's index basically in ankylostomiasis that is infestation of ankylostoma duodenal or nicotara marit canis uh, you have um, a, what is called as a chandler index basically it is a indicator of the severity of the health problem what you will do is you will take the stools 1 gram stool let's say example and you will count the average number of hookworms uh, eggs hookworm eggs eggs okay so you will count the average number of hookworm eggs per gram of stool okay if it is less than 200 not much importance 200 to 250 <clears throat> danger then the minor health problem major public health problem if it is greater than 200 uh, 300 it's major health problem less than 200 not much importance okay guys focus uh, so it will not only tell you the severity you can also decide the control measure control measure what will you do you will give mass albendazole uh, or mebendazole pyrantel palmoate give iron to these people after the uh, after the deworming then you give iron in etc right so that a nutritional support because these people usually will have anemia so that's it about chandler index bye bye